Hello guys, who here back with another video. This time around guiding through Luxian's uh, spring cleaning event we got going on uh, and a little bit different than what we normally got going on. Uh, this is a uh, three-week uh, event especially or instead of what we normally get like two weeks event but this is a three-week event and it's uh, ap apparently there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming to Luxion over these three weeks which is really nice to know uh, exactly what it is we don't know but he is in the hub right now I also posted what is in the hub or his inventory right now uh, so I maybe it's gonna change every week I have no idea what is gonna happen but I would uh, suggest that you check out the hub more, maybe every day or something like that. Um, that's at least what I'm going to do. Uh, or check out the Discord. Uh, it is linked in the description of this video. So go check that one out. Uh, that's at least what I'm going to post as much as I can to keep you guys updated so you guys don't miss out on anything at all. So, uh, as you probably can see, and I know this is not very popular, but I am on Trovasaurus again today because uh, these quests uh, or these steps are uh, a little bit easy but they're also time consuming so it wouldn't really show you a lot what to do so i'm going to explain what you are doing basically every step of the way so um as it says right here also this will of course also be linked in the description as it always is this link to Trovisaurus. so shout out to Trovisaurus for making this uh so first of all it's the gathering time and it's cleaning also because it's spring cleaning and as it says it's from tuesday today as i'm making this and also it's all all the way to may 28th so uh, both of a pc xbox uh, or xbox uh Oh, sorry. Xbox users will actually start uh, at uh, another week later, but I think it's going to happen as just as long time. I think it's going to be exactly the, the same thing, basically. But to, to jump into, of course, the uh, the first step is to just to talk to Lucian in the hub. And you, of course, he's in the back. Uh, when you load in, you go to the left, you turn left and back at the Dragon Crucible. He is there, uh, a big uh, flux dragon you can't miss him and he's right there i've shown him uh, multiple times in, in the, that he sells basically everything you uh could be and i always post on the discord which you can go buy and it's a really good idea to buy anything you can buy from him because sometimes it takes a very very long time to get uh, back in rotation basically but the first one is just to uh, do that and just talk to Luxion in the hub you get a Luxion style stash uh, which unlocks um, random seasonal event pinatas or Luxion equipment style that you don't already have unlocked extra style stash can be looted and collected and you can buy five of these at this moment so uh, something you should really really consider buying uh, right while it's here basically but you get one for free and you can see what it unlocks and then you can decide if you want to buy more you can buy like five i think right now as the max uh, next thing is to buy something and again you can buy anything at all it doesn't have to be these stashes it can be anything at all that's step two and you get six luxurious boxes which is nice uh, actually not empowered ones uh, you get that later on but luxurious is actually pretty awesome actually to get that instead um, uh, step three is to complete a challenge and challenges of course it could either be a um, I'm not sure if the rampages is considered a challenge, but it can be coin collection. Uh, what is it called? Uh, what is it called that one? Uh, racing challenge, or it can be, of course, a zone one. Those at least that works. I'm not sure again if the rampages works or not. If you can comment below if somebody else is like you can do that, but. There should be plenty of opportunities to complete a challenge, especially like the coin ones are pretty easy. Uh, and when it's complete, I don't think even think you have to get all four steps on it. You just, I think you just have to get to step one on that one. So if you can't make it all the way, at least just do like the first one uh, to do that. And you get six empowered gym boxes, which is not very, very terrible. Uh, next one is to find dragon fragments. And that's what I mean by it's time consuming because these dragon fragments drop more often on Fridays, right? And it's not to say when these dragon fragments drop um i would suggest you try to get maybe today or maybe one of the other weeks i think this is also why it goes three weeks so it's a little bit easier to get these done um because it can be random when you're getting these dragon fragments but it could be a opportunity to go farm those dragons you haven't gotten dragon for, uh, fragments for uh, i think the easiest one would would get to get the um the go to a sky world and get the cloud drake or the crystal cl crystallized cr uh, crystallized clouds i think that's what they're called 
but at least uh, that one is pretty easy to get. But five fragments is not that hard to get over three weeks, uh, especially if you're looking uh, to farm it. There should be five. It should be plenty easy to get for basically everyone. So uh, that's step four. That's a bit of Dragon Knight, which is great. And next in is actually temporary 10 Dragon Coin Boosters. Okay, pretty interesting. Getting the double uh, for the next 10 coins. Oh, okay, that's pretty neat. Uh, uh, that's pretty neat. So you can actually get some coin boosting, dragon boosting. That is actually pretty neat. I actually didn't see there was this. This is actually amazing. So this, of course, um, is like the boost you can buy in the shop right now. But these are basically free. So these are very, very, very... This is a very, very great reward, actually, than anything else is actually... It has, every, it has been for a while, actually, because this actually can boost you... A, not a lot, but it, it's... 10 of them and yeah that is actually amazing so this event is actually good <laughs> that's actually kind of surprising i was like uh yeah that's actually good and here you of course what you have to do is just farm some uh, flux treasures the flux treasures is just the ones you do in dungeons and you get those small um there's three different kind of them i can't remember the exact the name of them but you get them randomly when you defeat dungeons so it's just out there uh you know getting dungeons basically it's just it's gonna be it's gonna give you random it's like chaos chest they're okay like chaos chest if you don't know what they are it's like more small flux bags thingies that look you look collect probably you look collect them already and you don't even know you're loot collecting them so yeah next thing is to gather dragon coins and here you can use the uh, booster if you want to uh, i'm definitely going to do that so um uh Getting more dragon coins. I, maybe the dragon tome works on this. I am not sure. I haven't tested it. I haven't gone so far. Uh, but uh, you can definitely uh, get 20 dragon coins pretty easily from the challenges uh, from that. And I, I think maybe also getting opening lesser dragon catches and greater ones are going to work on this. Usually it is. So even though the dragon coins are, uh, you know, not tradable, I think there's ways to get around that if you really want. But again, 20 in three weeks seem to be okay. Uh, even, I don't, <laughs> maybe you can't even avoid it. So, but it's still, uh, a golden chaos chest is okay. And you're getting this. So if you don't get this, a golden chaos chest is not the, the, the most crazy reward. But definitely this one is definitely very, very great, I would say. So then we get here to the daily login adventures. Normally we get sometimes we get if you log in on days, you get a different thing. But here they are doing something different. And instead of getting daily rewards, are rumored, uh, are rumored to receive daily adventures, more adventure fun because it looks in demand. So, so it basically he demands more fun. Um, so if you check the adventure tab, uh, and I'm going to show you guys that in a, a, just a little bit uh, what that looks like in game. And uh, so, so this makes more sense, but basically that's the event and we're I'm gonna explain now the kind of what this daily award uh, adventure is All right guys now we are in the game and I can show you what I mean by uh, What is going on in game because it's actually kind of significant and XD is pretty neat uh, I would say instead of just getting something you just log in for um so let me show you so if you go to of course uh, f1 you get to the welcome man menu but this is not really it but here you down you see the what it's basically uh, the event going on you can also see that's the thumbnail basically but um if you go to your if you press v you can do that on pc but you have to go to your adventures on my i've set it to i oh so let me uh, press i this is also something i put a uh, I put a video on the channel not too long ago talking about the adventures and how to access it and why it's so important. And right now we got the event thing going on. You also got the expertise and club and stuff like that. This is also where you have the repeatable ones and stuff like that. Also Geode you got in there and stuff like that. Point is you have the event tab and uh, I'm just going to say that so right now. Make sure every uh, always these are always shown, right? So you don't miss out on anything. Always have them all shown because if there's nothing in here, uh, it won't show anything basically. So you can see expertise is not in there. I could actually also remove uh, the challenge right now if you want to and then put it back on. But everything should always be on because then some stuff do take priority. If you go, if you click this one, it's going to show you the gathering or uh, which is the one we're talking about, right? But the first one is of course the event which is going on right now. And the 
daily adventure or the daily login bonus, whatever you're going to call it. You can also see it in your uh, claims tab. It's down here. It, they also gave us, for, uh, not sure really why they gave a confetti ball, but <laughs> that was what we got. Uh, but here you can see this is the uh, daily adventure as you, um, you know, uh, lock in basically. And what it, what it tells you to do today is to collect any ore to complete this adventure. This adventure expires and only available 24 hours. So I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it's 24 hours from when you locked in. Uh, because it did say claim at here, but I am not certain on that. Uh, I would say maybe it would, uh, you know, switch when the reset is. That would, that is what I would think it would. I don't think it starts for 24 hours after when you claimed it. I think it's 24 hours this day. Because today is, of course, as you saw, it's gathering day. So it would make sense that it would only be today to gather one ore. Um, so basically, all you have to do today, uh, which is also, uh, if you didn't know, it, this week it is it's Infinium week. So I'm going to go get Infinium anyways. Uh, but gathering one ore is going to take you like less than one second, more or less. But... This is absolutely amazing though. 10 chaos chests for just harvesting one ore. It says gather one ore and I can't see anywhere it should tell me. I'm also changing it up here. I have, like you see, I haven't done it yet, so I'm not sure. But it would basically say gather 10 ore if it was like 10 ore it had to do, right? Here it just says gather an ore. So all you have to do is do one. And I'm pretty sure they, these challenges are not going to be very, very hard. I think maybe tomorrow, I'm just guessing here since I haven't done so. Uh, tomorrow's challenge is probably going to be like uh, get one uh, or farm one gym box, for example. That's what I'm doing. But that's my suggest. That's what I think is going to be, right? Um, and I, th I think it's going to have a theme to all the days, basically. Uh, Shadow Towers, maybe do one do one boss of Shadow Towers or something like that. Gather one ore. That's a, probably like the easiest one, I don't know. But uh, also maybe complete one quest. It might be this. Uh, or dragons might farm some dragon coins or something like that. Gain some experience. I don't know. Uh, get a chaos chest, loot some loot. I don't know. But... Um, I think they have a theme all the way to every day that it's going to be, but gather one ore is absolutely amazing just for, uh, you know, <laughs> just for 10 cast chests basically. So yeah, uh, I think I've explained uh, this enough. I think it's pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, again, uh, this is a, I would say the rewards are a little bit better. It's a fun little event. And I know I didn't do the whole step one, step two, but the thing is that, these are all random and I, well, I couldn't really get into, uh, what would say, um, <laughs> what would you say, like, uh, each and every single step, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys like and subscribe and all that jazz. I really much appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.